Have you ever wondered about the forgotten histories that linger in the shadows of our collective memory? That's what we're here to explore today, folks. There are stories, whispers of the past that remain untold, uncharted, like the forgotten history of Avatim and the Bias Giants. These tales of yore, steeped in mystery and intrigue, have slipped through the cracks of time, waiting to be rediscovered and shared. What secrets do they hold? What insights can they offer us into our shared human experience? Could the forgotten history of Avatim and the Bias Giants change our understanding of the world as we know it? By forgetting these histories, are we ignoring valuable lessons? These are questions that beg to be answered, puzzles that yearn to be solved. So, get ready, my friends, to embark on an intellectual adventure. Today, we dive into the depths of the forgotten history of Avatim and the Bias Giants. The Avatim, a vibrant people, their history lost in the sands of time. In the heart of Ghana, nestled in the Volta region, you'll find the Avatim people, a community rich in culture, brimming with unique traditions and customs, and speaking a language that is unlike any other in the world. Avatim, or Siasi as it's locally known, is a Kwa language, full of tonal variations that make it a symphony to the ears and a linguistic treasure to the world. But beyond the language, the Avatim are a people of warmth and hospitality. Their society is a tapestry woven with threads of kinship and community, and their culture is a vibrant dance of festivals, music, and artistry. Their lives, deeply rooted in the fertile soils of their lands, are a testament to their resilience and their enduring spirit. Yet, despite this rich cultural tapestry, the history of the Avatim remains largely unrecorded, obscured by the relentless march of time. This history is not etched in stone or inked on parchment. Instead, it is woven into the fabric of their culture, passed down through stories and songs whispered from one generation to the next. But these whispers are growing faint. The sands of time are slowly erasing the footprints of their past, leaving behind a history that is becoming more and more forgotten. This forgotten history, a history that is as vibrant and rich as the Avatim people themselves, is a story that needs to be told. There are tales of bravery and heroism, of love and loss, of triumph and tragedy. And among these tales, there is one that stands taller than the rest, a tale that despite being faded by time, continues to cast a long shadow over the Avatim. Their history, although faded, holds a tale of giants, the Bias Giants, a story that, like the Avatim themselves, is waiting to be unearthed, to be remembered, and to be told. Tales of giants larger than life have always fascinated us, haven't they? Giants, they are the stuff of myths and legends across countless cultures. But today, let's narrow our focus to a lesser known but equally enthralling phenomenon, the Bias Giants of Avatime. The Bias Giants are not your typical fabled beings. They are deeply rooted in the folklore of Avatime, a small but culturally rich community nestled in the verdant hills of Ghana. These giants are said to be of extraordinary stature and strength towering over the tallest trees in the forest, their heads touching the clouds. They were believed to possess a might that was almost godlike, capable of moving mountains and diverting rivers. The legends surrounding the Bias Giants are as varied as they are enchanting. Some say they were benevolent beings, using their immense strength to help the people of Avatime. They would clear paths through the dense forest, lift heavy objects, and even help in the construction of massive structures that would have been impossible for ordinary men. Others, however, paint a darker picture. They speak of giants who were destructive and chaotic, causing earthquakes with their thunderous footsteps and wreaking havoc with their colossal size. These tales served as cautionary stories, teaching the people to respect and fear the powerful forces of nature. What's most intriguing about the Bias Giants is their role in Avatim folklore. They are not merely characters in a story, but symbols of the community's shared history and cultural identity they represent the collective strength of the Avatim people, their resilience in the face of adversity, and their deep respect for the natural world. Now you may be wondering, are these tales of the Bias Giants just imaginative fabrications spun by our ancestors? Or could they be based on some semblance of reality? After all, throughout history we've seen that legends often have a kernel of truth to them. But what if these tales held a grain of truth? Sometimes folklore leads us to the doorsteps of forgotten truths. As we delve into the enigmatic past of Avatime, we find fascinating leads that hint at the existence of the legendary Bias Giants. Archaeological discoveries have unveiled intriguing artifacts that could potentially be linked to these mythical beings. 
Excavations in the region have unearthed large, unusually shaped pottery shards, and tools that seem far too large for average human hands. Some of these artifacts date back to a period when the biased giants were said to have roamed the land. While these finds alone cannot confirm their existence, they certainly add a layer of intrigue to the legend. Oral histories passed down through generations also serve as a rich source of evidence. The elders of Avatime continue to recount tales of these towering beings, their stories echoing the voices of their ancestors. They speak of the biased giants with reverence, painting vivid images of their strength and wisdom. These narratives, while not empirical evidence, provide a cultural context that frames our understanding of the Bias Giant's place in Avatime's history. Linguistic analysis of the Avatime language offers another intriguing perspective. Certain words, expressions, and idioms hint at the influence of these larger-than-life figures. For instance, the Avatime expression for great strength translates literally as strength of a Bias Giant. This linguistic footprint suggests a cultural memory of these giants that has been woven into the fabric of the language itself. While we may never fully confirm the existence of the Bias giants, these bits of evidence provide tantalizing glimpses into the forgotten history of Avatime. They remind us that folklore often holds kernels of truth, preserved and passed down through the ages. As we delve deeper, we find that the line between folklore and history begins to blur. The legend of the biased giants, whether rooted in fact or fiction, has left an indelible mark on the culture and history of Avatime. As we continue to unearth the truth, we realize that sometimes the most fascinating stories are the ones we've almost forgotten. Why should we care about histories that time has seemingly left behind? Well, let's dive into that. Forgotten histories like the story of Avatime and the biased giants are not just tales of the past. They are complex narratives that hold the key to understanding our present and shaping our future. These narratives, though faded into the background, are still very much part of our world and continue to influence us, often in ways we don't realize. Imagine a puzzle, a vast, intricate puzzle that depicts the grand tapestry of human history. Each piece represents a chapter of our collective past. Some pieces are bright and clear, representing well-known historical events and figures. But there are also pieces that are faded, seemingly insignificant, almost forgotten. These are the stories like Avatime and the Bias Giants. At first glance, these faded pieces might seem less important than the vibrant, well-known ones. But in reality, every piece holds equal weight. If you remove even one piece, the picture is incomplete. Similarly, if we ignore or forget certain chapters of our history, our understanding of our past and subsequently our present is incomplete. Remembering forgotten histories allows us to see the full picture. It helps us understand the complexities of our past. It shows us the triumphs and failures of different societies, the rise and fall of civilizations, the evolution of cultures and traditions. All this knowledge is crucial in understanding our present world and how we, as a society, have evolved. Moreover, these histories can guide us in making decisions for our future. They provide us with insights and lessons that we can apply to avoid past mistakes and replicate past successes. They remind us of our resilience and creativity as a species, inspiring us to keep innovating and progressing. So it's not just about preserving old tales for the sake of nostalgia. It's about recognizing the value in every chapter of our past, even the forgotten ones. It's about understanding our journey as a civilization, learning from it, and using that knowledge to shape a better future. Remembering forgotten histories like that of Avatim and the Bias Giants is akin to piecing together the vast puzzle of human history. What legacy have the Avatime and the Bias Giants left behind? Let's delve into a world where the echoes of the past reverberate in the present. The Avatime and the Bias Giants may be figures from long ago, but their influence continues to shape the culture and folklore of Avatime today. The Avatime, a proud and resilient people, have maintained their rich cultural heritage, passed down through generations. Their traditional practices, their vibrant festivals, their intricate art forms and their folk stories, all bear the imprints of a history intertwined with the Bias Giants. The tales of these gigantic beings once walking amidst the Avatime have become an integral part of their cultural identity. The Bias Giants, though physically absent, are very much present in spirit. They found immortality in the stories told by the Avatime, in the songs sung by their children, and in the dances performed during their festivals. These tales of towering giants, of their strength, wisdom, and the mystery surrounding them, 
are told and retold, keeping their memory alive. The Avatime's vibrant festivals are a testament to their history. The drumbeats echo the footsteps of the biased giants. The dances emulate their strength, and the costumes mirror their grandeur. The biased giants are not just a part of their history. They are a part of their identity, their pride, and their legacy. This legacy is not just confined to the Avatime people. It has found its way into the wider world through literature, art, and academia. Scholars from around the globe have been drawn to the captivating tales of the Avatime and the Bias Giants, adding a new dimension to the understanding of human history and culture. The legacy of the Avatime and the Bias Giants is a testament to the power of folklore and the enduring nature of cultural heritage. It's a beautiful reminder of how the past continues to shape the present and how stories from long ago can continue to resonate in a modern world. Their legacy lives on, whispering tales of a time long past. We've journeyed through the forgotten history of Avatime and the Bias Giants, but what have we learned? After delving into the world of Avatime and its forgotten history, we've discovered a tale that was almost lost in the sands of time. We've learned about the Bias Giants, a race of towering figures that once roamed the land shaping the culture and history of Avatime in ways that were nearly forgotten. We've heard the legends and myths surrounding these giants, stories passed down through generations that have been brought to light once again. We've seen how the biased giants influence the Avatime people, their culture, their traditions, and even their language. We've also unraveled the mystery of why this history was forgotten, unearthing the truth about the erasure of the biased giants from Avatime's history. We've learned that history is not always written by the victors, but sometimes by those who wish to erase the past for their own gain. More importantly, we've understood the significance of remembering forgotten histories. The history of Avatime and the Bias Giants is not just a tale from the past. It's a part of our shared human experience. It's a testament to the resilience of cultures, the power of storytelling, and the importance of preserving our history. Remembering these forgotten histories is crucial in understanding our past, shaping our present, and envisioning our future. It allows us to learn from the mistakes and triumphs of those who came before us, and to appreciate the diversity and richness of human cultures. We've also seen the legacy of Avatime and the Bayes Giants. Their influence can still be seen in the Avatime people today, in the stories they tell, the traditions they keep, and the pride they have in their history. As we remember the forgotten history of Avatime and the Bias Giants, we are reminded that every story, every culture, every history plays a crucial role in the tapestry of our shared human experience.